Make your $20 microphone sound like a million bucks. Welcome back to another simple green tech video where we look at getting great sounding audio for your content while on a budget. I'm Radio Zane and today we're going to connect a Triton Fethead inline preamp to a budget priced Behringer XM8500 dynamic microphone. The mic itself can be usually found for around $20 US or $30 Canadian. The Triton Fethead can be found for around $89 US or $115 Canadian. So maybe we exaggerated a bit when we said it will sound like a million bucks, but it should definitely sound like a $100 plus microphone. And if you already own the Behringer XM8500 and want to up your sound quality, you might be better off buying the Fethead instead of another dynamic mic, as you'll likely run into a similar problem with needing more gain, which introduces preamp noise. Now let's get into the tests. First, we'll look at the Behringer XM8500 without the FET head attached. Here is a sample of voice recorded with a Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 microphone without the FET head connected. I have the input gain on my Focusrite 2i2 set at pretty much full, and you can hear a bit of the preamp noise in the background and it sounds all echoey. If I lower the gain, the levels aren't really going to be that optimal. Now let's look at the microphone with the FET head attached. Now here's a sample of voice recorded with a Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 microphone with the FET head connected. I have the input gain on my Focusrite 2i2 set at just past halfway, that's about one o'clock, and the levels are optimal. Now let's play both of them back to back. Here is a sample of voice recorded with a Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 microphone without the FET head connected. Now here's a sample of voice recorded with a Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 microphone with the FET head connected. There you have it. I really like the difference that the FET head makes. Did you think the difference was big enough to justify adding one to your setup? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500 connected to the Triton Fethead video. I hope you found this video useful and it's helped you to make a decision with your studio setup. If you found this video useful and would like to see more from us, please subscribe to the channel. If not, maybe we'll get you to subscribe next time. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane. We'll talk soon.